Okay, so one of our six foundational movements is a squat pattern. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we get our bodies lined up in the right position. We're gonna link the entire body by creating full body tension and then we're gonna create a smooth coordinated movement pattern. So basically we're putting the feet about shoulder width apart or so. Keep in mind you wanna have it in a position where you're comfortable. So when you squat down, you shouldn't feel like you're stuck, like anything hurts. Um, or anything in your body is getting irritated or doesn't feel right. It should feel comfortable for your body. That might mean your toes may need to be a little bit more out. Your stance may be, uh, need to be a little wider, a little more narrow. So kind of play with it. What we don't want is a super wide kind of sumo squat or a super narrow stance in there. So just kind of play with it, get the position right. So what we're going to do is once we get set there, we're going to shift the weight back toward the heels. You want to be um, a little bit back. So we're going to create tension through the full body by putting the hands here, one fist in the palm of the other hand, and push together. That's going to create tension through your chest, through your lats, and then we're going to also get the glutes and the inner thighs tight. So once, or I should say tension on those, not necessarily tight, but you want to feel that they're all working. Once we have that, we want to link it together with the abs. So we're bracing all of those muscles on and we're holding those on as we come down into our squat and then right back up. I'll show you from the side what it looks like. So again, full body tension, sitting back on the heels, coming down, bracing everything, glutes inner thighs, chest lats, abs, holding that tension on and making sure that the movement is pain free. So you don't want to go any further down than you can support uh, pain free. And so if you have any pain in any part of the movement pattern, make sure to stay above the pain. If I get pain all the way down here, I'm not gonna come down here. I'm gonna come as far down as I can without pain and then stay above that pain zone, okay? So that's how you do your squat.